an intentional and heinous act. That's what North Dakota prosecutors described for a woman charged with fatally poisoning her boyfriend, all for a plot to allegedly steal millions of dollars she thought she was entitled to. Authorities have arrested 47-year-old Ina Kanoyer for the murder of her longtime boyfriend, Stephen Riley Jr. Investigators were able to piece together cracks in the long-term relationship between the two. Court records reveal Ina allegedly poisoned her boyfriend of 10 years with a lethal dose of antifreeze after learning he was planning to break up with her when he received a $30 million inheritance. Ina told investigators that after Stephen's death, she was entitled to part of that large sum because she was Stephen's common law wife and that she planned to split the money with Stephen's sons. Problem is, North Dakota does not recognize common law marriages. And according to court documents, Ina became incensed when investigators explained that detail to her. Court documents go on to state the chilling circumstances of Stephen's death. Officials say on September 4th, EMTs responded to the couple's home where Stephen was discovered unresponsive. He was rushed to a local emergency room, but his medical condition was so severe he had to be flown to a Bismarck hospital. Authorities say Stephen never regained consciousness and passed away the next day. Investigators say after his passing, they received reports from family and friends of Stephen sharing their concerns that Ina was behind his death. According to court documents shared with Long Crime Network, Stephen's friends explained Ina made comments in the past about poisoning him with antifreeze. Even making comments after his death that he was poisoned with antifreeze, despite no lab work tests for antifreeze being completed, and no medical professional conveying any information about Stephen's condition to Ina, including the fact that he died. Court records show several of Stephen's friends raised red flags to investigators. They said he was about to be a recipient of a large inheritance, and they believed he was planning on meeting an attorney at the airport the day before he was found unresponsive to complete that transaction. Ina was also reportedly aware of the $30 million inheritance. Stephen's friends also revealed to police a key detail on why Ina allegedly committed the heinous act. They say Stephen planned to break up with Ina after receiving the money, which reportedly made her furious. One friend even witnessed Ina throwing Stephen's belongings outside on the afternoon of September 3rd, the day before he was found unresponsive. During that evening, friends say they witnessed Stephen's health declining rapidly, revealing troubling details about his final moments. Court documents show Stephen voiced his concerns to his friends about the symptoms he was experiencing. He felt like he was drunk, but didn't consume alcohol. He suffered from stomach pain, was unsteady on his feet, and nearly fell over while trying to walk. His friends wanted to take Stephen to the hospital, but Ina was adamant that he was suffering from a heat stroke and needed to go home to rest. Stephen reportedly was so sick within an hour, he was vomiting, could not walk on his own, and seemed to be in and out of consciousness. A close friend of Stephen's, Wesley Torgerson, told detectives he was very concerned about his health, but allowed Ina to keep taking care of him because she claimed to have medical training to aid someone suffering from a heat stroke. And another cause for concern, on the morning of September 4th, he went to check on Stephen. Ina reportedly spoke to Torgerson through a closed door, and said Stephen was at a walk-in clinic. The affidavit states Torgerson went to every walk-in clinic in Minot as well as the emergency room and learned Stephen had not been to any of those locations. According to court documents, the coroner was made aware of the antifreeze poisoning concerns and conducted a test on Stephen's blood. The results revealed ethylene glycol in his system, the key ingredient for antifreeze. After Stephen's autopsy, the coroner reported the cause of death, which was ethylene glycol poisoning. Once police executed a search warrant for the couple's home, they discovered in the living room an old Windex bottle without a cap containing a bright green liquid suspected to be antifreeze. Police later found in the garage a glass Coors Light bottle and plastic mug both containing the suspected antifreeze. Ina told police Stephen had been drinking all day on September 3rd, but claimed he had a heat stroke on September 2nd. However, another friend of Stephen's, Billy Burkhead, told police Stephen was fine on September 2nd and had no signs of being ill or having a heat stroke. And Stephen's toxicology report showed he had no alcohol in his system. Ina disclosed to investigators her own account of what happened. Court documents state Ina provided multiple scenarios about how Stephen could have ingested the antifreeze. They included how Stephen's cigarette may have fallen into antifreeze in the garage, 
She also claimed to have Googled symptoms of heat stroke and found they mimicked poisoning. Ina admitted to investigators she served sweet tea to Stephen throughout the day. The affidavit states antifreeze is known to be easily disguised in sweet drinks. According to investigators, Stephen was alone with Ina for at least 12 hours before she sought any medical attention for Stephen. Ina was arrested on October 30th, about a month after her boyfriend passed away inside a Bismarck hospital. She was charged with intentional murder and is being held behind bars on a million dollar bond. The Minot Police Department says the investigation is still ongoing. Ina's murder charge could carry a maximum penalty of life without parole if she's convicted. Her next court date is scheduled for December 7th. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Elizabeth Milner.